Well, the president calls it a reaction to Republican obstruction. Republicans call it more partisan politics. National correspondent Steve Santani reports on the announcement of more than a dozen recess appointments. As the uproar over the new health care reform law continued, and as the president prepared for his secret trip to Afghanistan, he made his move Saturday, appointing 15 people to high posts while Congress was out of town. It's called a recess appointment, and the president said he's justified in doing it because Republican senators have blocked him from filling important positions. In a statement, the president said, quote, at a time of economic emergency, two top appointees to the Department of Treasury have been held up for nearly six months. I simply cannot allow partisan politics to stand in the way of the basic functioning of government. But it wasn't the Treasury positions that angered many Republicans. It was the appointment of this man, Craig Becker, to the National Labor Relations Board. Craig Becker, who was in the group that he appointed um, by executive fiat yesterday, is someone who's worked for unions his entire career, and he put him on a board that's supposed to be uh, unbiased arbitrators between businesses and unions. Becker is a former counsel to the Service Employees International Union and the AFL-CIO and a big supporter of the so-called card check proposal that would bypass the secret ballot in the workplace, making it easier for unions to organize. He was defeated by the Senate last month on a vote of 52 to 33, not enough to overcome a Republican-led filibuster. White House aides say President Obama had little choice but to counteract what they see as continued Republican obstructionism. You know, Senator McConnell was quoted a couple of weeks ago in an interview as having told the caucus uh, from the beginning, we're going to try and sl stop everything. We're going to oppose everything. But Republicans say the president's further snubbing his nose at the Senate's procedures. He decided to circumvent Congress again, which has become his style on so many issues, and just appoint him while we were out of town. What the president has done here is throw fuel on the fire at a time when the civil, when the, when the debate about politics is a very angry debate to begin with. Recess appointments, of course, are nothing new, and the opposing party is never happy about it. President Clinton made 139 such appointments, and George W. Bush did it 171 times, including 15 by this same point in his first term. But the White House says Bush had only five nominees pending on the Senate floor at the time, while President Obama has 77 currently waiting. Now, those put in place with a recess appointment will not escape Senate scrutiny forever. Their positions become vacant again at the end of next year, and then the process starts all over. Brett? Okay, Steve, thank you.